What is going on YouTube? I'm really excited to bring this video to you today. 10 exercises to help you build a better back. Some of these movements you've probably seen before, some of them you probably haven't. Regardless, if you've seen them or not, I encourage you to watch because I have some really important technique points that I think anyone could take value from, regardless of your experience in the gym. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first exercise is the pull-up. Pretty self-explanatory, but one thing I'd recommend is keeping your shoulders tight. Don't let your scapula protract, keep it tight in back, and don't extend your arms all the way down when you go to the bottom of the movement. A lot of people go all the way down and that takes a lot of the stress off of your lats, and that's kind of defeating the purpose of the pull-up. So first actual movement is a kneeling cable pull-down, but you are perpendicular to the cable. And so one thing I'd recommend is to kind of lean into the movement as you go down to the bottom. And this will help you really feel a tight squeeze as you get down into, uh, into the farther, farther into the contraction. Next workout is the classic lat pull down. Um, but one thing I'd recommend is pulling it to beneath your chest, just under it, maybe like an inch under where your pecs start. A lot of people pull it too high or too low, and I feel like it just doesn't get as much tension on your lats as it should. It's all up to personal preference, so play around with it. Um, next movement is the bent over ball ball row, and with this, a lot of people aren't bending over enough. They're staying pretty upright, and that's not gonna be working the muscles that you want it to. So go like I am right now, about 45 degree angle, and pull it directly to the middle of your stomach. A lot of people pull it to the bottom of their stomach, and that's not what you want to do. You want to pull it to the middle. Keep that tightness on the back. Don't let your shoulders go too loose. And really watch your torso because a lot of people come up to an upright position as they go up in weight and reps. Next exercise is a kneeling double cable pull down. And this has a very limited range of motion. So it's important to just feel it out and get the, the squeeze down. But this is not going to be working your lats as much as it will be your lower mid back. Next exercise, pretty similar, is a uh, cross cable pull through, and this is gonna be working your shoulder blade muscles. You don't need to use a lot of weight with this, so go light 15 to 10 pounds and go for higher reps and just really feel the squeeze in the back. Try and envision yourself squeezing like a little ball in between your shoulder blades. Next exercise is a lean forward bent over row. So as you can see, I'm keeping my back straight as I lean forward and I'm using the split um, grip with the strap so I can pull it around my waist. I feel like this really allows me to contract my lats better through the movement. But this is really, really great for hitting like the middle of your lat and kind of the lower part if you haven't done that before. So the farther you can lean forward, um, the better it will be. Next exercise I consider, I also uh, encourage supersetting with the last one is lat pullovers or pull throughs. And one tip that I would recommend is almost go into a, like a lat spread pose at the top of it. So really extend your chest out and um, push your hips through the movement and bend your elbows just a little bit to help you put a little bit more tension on your lats throughout the, uh, throughout the movement. Uh, next one is a fixed seated row. And like I've been saying throughout this commentary is don't let the tension go on your shoulders. Keep your shoulder blades back and down. This will keep the tension on it throughout the movement. And last exercise will be the classic T-bar rows. And people do this exercise a lot, but a lot of them do it incorrectly. And they let their torso go all around and their hips are not set. So make sure that your core is tight and your back is set throughout this exercise. But that's gonna pretty much wrap up this video. Make sure you leave a like, guys. Subscribe if you're not already, and comment if you have any questions or concerns. I wanna to reply to everyone and just help you all out if you have any questions at all. So thank you for watching again, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.